Hey guys, we're on day two. Here's the two little Bantam chicks that hatched yesterday. They're doing great. They're not too cold because they're not cuddled up together. They're not too hot because they're not spread it out really far apart. And if you can't get yours to eat, just take your finger and scratch on the bottom where the feet is, just like the mama would do. And they'll start doing it too. That's how they learn. Now we have another Bantam chick hatching now. I can hear it in the incubator. By the way, I got this incubator from Tractor Supply. They have a lot of good farm equipment and stuff in there that you can use to raise your own chickens. Yeah, there it is. That's another Bantam. A little Bantam chick. These are regular chicken eggs. These small ones are Bantam chicken eggs. Regular chicken egg. Some more Bantams. These are Mallard duck eggs. And I'm going to check them to see if they're fertilized. Yeah, it's doing good. And um, need to try to let the chick come out on its own because their shell is attached to a lot of blood vessels and it can cause them to bleed out. If it gets in distress and just absolutely cannot come out, then we'll help it by chipping off little bit by little bit. It's doing good. Doing really good. So we're going to check these mallard duck eggs. Sorry, I'm having to do all this on my phone. So it's not the best camera. But we're going to check these. Let's set this up right here. And we're going to check some of these mallard duck eggs. Okay. Yeah, you can see the blood vessels. Yeah, it's fertilized for sure. I can see all the little blood vessels. It's fertilized too. See the blood vessels in there? See them all pretty good. There we go. That one's fertilized. This one's fertilized too. That's great. Let's get a really bright light. Shine up to the egg. And if you can see the blood vessels, then it's fertilized. Yeah, there it there's the blood vessels. Lots of blood vessels in there. Okay, just one more mallard duck egg. It's fertilized too. See all the blood vessels really good. Okay. I'm gonna check this other bantam egg. See, this one, it kind of looks like a blood ring starting to form. And if there's a blood ring in it, it's bad. So I take this one out. Check another Bantam egg. Wow. Yeah, I see the vessels. Yeah, this one will be hatching soon. Doing really good. That's great. This one's still forming. That's good. See the blood vessels, the formation. That's good. Okay, I'm not sure about this one. Got it. Oh yeah, it's forming. Okay. Yeah, if you see the blood vessels, it's definitely fertilized. 
and then later you'll start to see a more solid shape which means you know that's the baby cheek forming like this one that's good this one and it's really good to shine a light and keep checking them throughout the 30 days because if they go bad they can you know pop or explode in the incubator so you definitely want to keep a check on them this one's forming good so that's great we got all fertilized eggs and another hatching And uh, he'll be out of there soon. Yeah, he'll be out of there very soon. Doing great so far. As you can see, he's attached to the eggshell, so you have to be very careful. And he'll get out shortly. And then he'll kind of lay around in the incubator and dry out real good. I usually let him stay in the incubator for... A few hours so they get you know dried out they stay warm and then you know after about eight hours I put them into the box and start teaching them how to eat and drink water but yeah I got this incubator at tractor supply and I had to say I mean it works great I mean it's it's just like having a mama hen sit on them it turns they've got them in there for you know thirty dollars forty dollars this one was a little more because I kind of believe you get what you pay for so I paid a little more for it, but you get the temperature, you set the day when you put the eggs in, you get the um, humidity, and you just add a little bit of water in there and let the eggs sit, and it counts down the days. Now I have seven days left on this first row because they were the very first ones I put in there. The rest of them are kind of mixed up because I went around the farm picking up eggs and got them all mixed up. So I know I got like at least three weeks on the mallard duck eggs and two more weeks on some of the bantam eggs. Probably three weeks on one or two of the regular chicken eggs, but I have four or five that are hatching out now. And I think that's really cool. It's really, really cool to hatch your own chickens out. It's just like getting, you know, having a dog. They'll know you, they'll love you, they'll come to you. You know, you can just put them out in the yard. It's really cool. But I just wanted to share that with you guys today. And uh, we'll keep checking up on this one. And see how he's doing. Let's get one more good look at him. You are now inside of the incubator with the chicken. Okay, we're gonna let him finish doing his thing. Gonna check on the other two over here. And I'm feeding them Perina Start and Grow. It's non medicated feed, it's for baby chicks. It's really good. I do use medicated feed sometimes, but right now I'm not because I want to see how this does. And they like it. I mean, they're and they're growing fast. They're growing very fast. Here, we'll get closer. Like I said, these are two Bantam chicks. A very small breed of chicken. They will not get too big at all. You can Google Bantam chickens and they are so tiny. But I have to say they're they're great chickens. They have good eggs. They they make good farm chickens, especially because they will take care. They will sit on their eggs, take care of them. I mean, the only reason I have all these eggs is because I went around collecting them because they lay so many eggs, and we have so many. But they do really well, and they will protect their bitties at all costs. I had some not too long ago. The mama, a hawk swooped down and caught the mama, and unfortunately, it killed the mama and two or three of her bitties. It was very sad, and I brought the beaties inside and put them in the incubator for a little bit and then put them under the light, raised them up, put them out on the farm. You know, it, it's it's not easy. You know, you have to watch these chicks, keep up with them. You know, and sometimes you lose a lot, sometimes you have a lot. They're doing really well, though. We'll have another update really soon. Have a great day, guys.